Hi Sagittarius, it's Power Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a very cool reading, Sagittarius, and uh, mm -hmm, I feel like somebody wants to you to forgive them. But before we get into the reading, Sagittarius, if you would like a free five-minute psychic reading, the link is below with Mystic Sense. Click on that and find out all about that. If you would like a reading with me, the calendar link is below. And these are live readings uh, for the most part. If you really have to have a video, we can get you one. And I have psychic readings and tarot readings, and I suggest getting the combo. It's a lot of fun, and you're gaining uh, insight, different insight from the psychic reading uh, and then from the tarot reading. Yeah, they're both uh, forms of divination, I suppose. And uh, yeah, it's very cool. And they're really a lot of fun. They are Sagittarius. And so here in this reading, uh, we have stabbed in the back the axe and seduction. Now, this is heartbreak and pain, and here we have the three of swords with the bandage on it, on the heart. So, somebody here is wanting to make up with you, and there's a lot of history here, and uh, most likely drama, yeah. And so, uh, but this drama, this person wants to drop the drama. Here's the ten of wands, and these nine wands have been dropped by somebody here who is very exhausted. And uh, it looks like somebody here is walking away from some type of a situation here. Uh, and they are willing to try to see if that's going to help to make up with you. Because the test is here and it was in the reverse. Like, I'm willing to try this just to see. To see. And here's the seduction set card, Sagittarius. And, you know, maybe this is an office uh, romance. It could be for some, right? Um, mm -hmm. but you know, she's here on the desk and he's reaching over to her on this chair, right? He moved the chair up to the desk, right? Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party inter interference. Now, you know, don't get turned off by the hooking up, uh, for, you know, for anybody out there who is kind of, you know, uh, you know, dealing with their own integrity, right? Uh, but you know, this could be a third party because here's the three of swords here. Now it doesn't have to be for now. It could have been a long time ago and third parties can be, they can be real between people. They can be uh, belief systems, uh, you know, meddling families, things like that. It's not always romance, but there is a major transformation in this reading, a major change. There is an ending and somebody's willing to fight for this, the warrior, either you or this person, and there is major attraction here. Yes. Right. So the court is here with the benefactor and you know, these can both be kind of, kind of, uh, legal terms, right? Mm -hmm. And so the court is, you know, can be a decision, but somebody may be going to court, but I feel like somebody has decided here to fight for this try to see if you will want them back most likely because the test is here. Uh, it it's also could be saying here that another relationship did not pass the test. Yeah. And this person wants to come back because you're the one because the benefactor here is speaks of somebody who provides the most or the best or somebody who is seen as very nurturing, right? The benefactor, somebody who's providing goodness, right? It can also be somebody who has a lot of money here with the court and somebody may have be going to court here to kind of divvy up money. It's possible here. Uh, that's kind of a drag, right? Yeah, I would say it is. But, and uh, here we have forgiveness, right? So here is, yeah, and here is Buddha. Basically, I believe that this is Buddha. I, I, could, I may be wrong, but it doesn't, it looks like uh, it is. Uh, and you know, but this free, this is Chinese though. And you know, I don't think Buddha was Chinese, but, uh, no, but, uh, I think Buddha was more like Indian or maybe Thai. I'm not sure. I'll be honest. Uh, right. could be, could have also been, uh, what's the other one with the Dalai Lama? Uh, I forget the name Tibet to right. could be Tibetan or yeah, could be, but that doesn't really matter here because we're talking about, no, although we like to give, uh, we do like to show honor to any particular country or, you know, origin. Of course we do, but we're talking about the energy that is mostly important here. We are, and, uh, there's a, an awakening here, uh, that has 
gone on in the past. This has been going on for a while because here's the man dropping the, the, the wands. So somebody waited a long time to drop these wands here. Maybe this person thinks they will not pass a test with you, right? Sagittarius, you could have your little, maybe you have your little, you know, your little notepad out. Remember what you did here? Remember what you did? I mean, I don't know. It doesn't sound very Sagittarian, but hey, uh, you know, that is kind of, that's un, you know, unseen here. Here is the, uh, you know, the knight. And he's very aggressive in this deck and he is uh, putting this person down with a knife. He is. And this person, this other knight is falling to his death or falling down. The sword hasn't reached him yet, but uh, there's, yeah, there's a letting go here. This is why we have the ax and uh, the stabbed in the back card, which can talk about a separation. And this is the overall energy. The first card is always the overall energy. You're like, ouch, right? And I don't believe this is for you. I believe this person is going, somebody's going, maybe you're going through an ending here to go be with somebody. But remember, the North Nodes have changed, right? And the North Node, uh, the, nor the Nodes have changed. Now we have, uh, the North Node is in Aries. So whatever this fate is, uh, because the North Node is moving toward your fate, right? M moving toward what you want, moving toward uh, like your fate and destiny. And so with uh, Aries being, you know, the main for, you know, for everybody, basically, it'll, it depends, you know, it'll affect everybody different. But uh, with Aries being in the North Node, it talks about moving toward what you want, what you want for your fate, not about, uh, right? And this could be somebody who is stepping into their own power. Aries is a very, it can be seen the fool, right? He's very independent. Somebody could, and, you know, with Libra, Libra sits in the south node. This is what we move away from to move to the north node. And Libras can be a relationship or we, because Libra says we about partnerships and Aries says I, I am. So somebody could be leaving a relationship they feel like doesn't work to step into their own independence to return to you. And I feel like that's what's going on here. Yeah, it is. And, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, Sagittarius, you are the overall energy in your tarot spread and stabbed in the back is, God, this is better. I'm going to start calling that S-O, S-O-T-B, right? <laughs> because it's, you know, it sounds so awful. And here he's trying to stab this man here, right? The other night he is. And uh, he's trying to do that here. And um, mm -hmm. we're not talking about physically in case anybody out there is... Uh, not really paying attention to the reading, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Some somebody wasn't paying attention the other day and said uh, the title's not matching. Yes, it is, but you're not paying attention to the reading, right? You're just kind of listening here and there. Now, here's the Four of Pentacles in the past, and this talks about a death and a holding on. Here's the scythe, not the scythe. He is the well. He's holding the scythe. He's he's wielding it, but. Here's the skeleton, right? And we know he means, uh, you know, he means transformation and death. And here he is. He's coming forward and this man is trying to hold on to these pentacles here. Now, this can talk about, uh, you know, kind of cutting somebody out here or ending something in order to hold on. And it can also be, hey, no, I, you're not, hold, we're not holding on here in this relationship anymore because here's the skeleton, right? And, you know, he speaks of death, right? Yeah. And so, you know, but I feel like that's what's going on in this reading. I feel like there's an ending for holding on. And here's this person wanting to make up with you, Sagittarius. And what's on your mind is the King of Pentacles. This is your mindset. It could be their mindset. And uh, maybe this is somebody with money. This King of Pentacles can be anybody, Sagittarius. It could be your chart ruler. It really could be because that's how it is in astrology. I'm studying. I would know. Uh, and it could be your, your, you know, your general tendency. Maybe that is you, right? And, you know, it could be somebody who's really earthly or somebody with money. Now, it may be an earth sign, right? But this is your mindset, the king of pentacles. And here is, uh, you know, here is uh, this sun card with it and the red flags are being carried uh is being carried by you know the two children the two toddlers and uh you maybe you're waiting for some news some very kind of shocking news it's possible 
Yeah, we have separation on stabbed in the back and the axe, both, and seduction. And here's the warrior in the court. This person's like ending something to be with you. Maybe they were stabbed in the back, but they're going to fight here for this. Now, it could be that they stabbed you in the back, but, you know, this for me looks like it is kind of somebody is ending something in order to hold on to you. That's how it looks in this reading, right? And everything is in your favor here, Sagittarius. Yeah, everything is. And uh, mm -hmm. maybe it is uh, you uh, who needs to be forgiven. We're not sure about that, right? Yeah, we're not. Uh, but it does look like somebody's coming to ask for forgiveness. The reading could be switched. Uh, the burden will be dropped, whatever that burden is. And for me, that kind of burden here is some type of other situation and uh, hopefully forgiveness, right, in this reading, right? Yeah. You know, even if you don't uh, ever want to return to somebody, you know, when you forgive somebody, it's it's not for them, right? You could be trying to, you know, you could say, oh, it's noble. Forgiveness is for you so you can move on and clear the clutter, clear the stress, clear the anger or the, you know, whatever, you know, just clear it and get rid of it and move on in a better, in a much better way, right? We always feel relieved, right? Just like we drink a glass of water kind of, right? And here uh, your concern is the uh, four of wands here. And so, you know, here it is sitting underneath this three of swords. And, you know, this is, uh, this four of wands is a union that you are concerned with. The world card, you guys, showing up here in your environment here uh, is the ending of a cycle. This is a major lesson learned for, I feel like, for somebody here, whoever is, uh, for both, it looks like, uh, it does. And so this is a cycle ends, a new one begins. It's coming uh, full circle in terms of maturity, uh, spiritual growth, things like that. Uh, Mm -hmm. It can be a celebration and a major wish fulfillment. The world card, uh, she's, she looks only happy, right? She's the dancer, right? So, and you know, your hopes is, uh, this man's walking away from this woman, Sagittarius, and, uh, it's very dry here and the hay is here and the wind's blowing the hay up in the air. There's clouds. He's sad and she's calling out to him, come back here. And maybe you want this person to walk away from something, but, it, you could just showing up here either, or you're doing this. This is kind of your desire or your action. It may be a hope, right? This is, uh, but you know, there is a walking away. There's an ending here because of all these, some, there's a major transformation though. And that is really uh, the best way to put this, right? When I say an ending, it's always a transformation, right? But something has to end in order for something to change, right? This is uh, life, right? Here's the, here's the devil. And you know, uh, you know, he's covered up here, of course, cause he's, you know, he's, uh, he's not really in his birthday suit that much, but these people are, and they're being chained. And, uh, this is, you know, this is kind of, uh, this, this devil is showing up here because whoever's doing this walking away and creating major change in their own life in order to fight for this, I believe, uh, has, it's been difficult for them. And I feel like that's why the devil is showing up your person's card, Sagittarius for the extended, uh, mm -hmm. we see the trillium flower here. This is something, uh, this is their overall energy. This is, uh, a flower here that is very expensive. Just the kind of leaves here. Uh, this can be, uh, about somebody who thinks that this is worth honoring. Like this is definitely worth doing right because of the value here crossing your person dun, dun 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 is the coffin so they look like they are ending something right here right mm -hmm. and this is the six of swords in this deck right uh and so you know with the six of swords uh we see a transition right and we all always see a, a transformation because the man is trying to reach uh in the in the regular tarot or traditional convent traditional tarot he's trying to reach a calmer shore while he leaves something. So this is a major transition here and it does include an ending, right? And so does a transition because you're moving toward something else. You're just kind of in route basically, right? And why it's all happening for your person, Sagittarius, is, dun, 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 is the proposal. This person's coming to propose to you. Yeah, they are. Unless that's you, right? And uh, no, I won't marry you, Sagittarius. I don't know you. And these days I'm pretty picky here, right? We're going to end this reading. We're going to have a 10 card oracle. We're going to finish this reading. We're going to have a 10 card tarot spread. They're all super affordable. I have the link below. 
It's going to be a very rich reading, a very colorful and, and exciting. I feel like it is. Thanks so much for joining me here. If you want to book a reading, remember the, uh, the link is below. Yeah. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.